Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. If you want to join the Slim on Starch program or if you just want a free one day meal plan, go to healthyemmy.org or just click the link in the down bar. Also make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I upload a new video at least every Wednesday and Saturday and sometimes even more. Starting with number five, mushrooms. Mushrooms have the umami flavor, which gives you the satisfaction as if you were eating meat. So by adding mushrooms into your dish, you're gonna feel more satisfied. Additionally, they're extremely versatile. I'm, I'm sure you've seen, you can take portobello mushroom caps and you can turn them into a burger, or you can slice them up and you can make fajitas. But it's gonna give you that satisfaction factor. It's a taste that's different from anything else as a part of a plant-based diet. The umami really, really gives you something else that you won't get from any other vegetables. Additionally, there are tons of different kinds of, of mushrooms and you can have some fun with this too. You can go to an Asian market and look at all the different types of mushrooms that they have. If you go to Whole Foods, you can get a mushroom medley in the produce section and there's oyster mushrooms and there's uh, octopus mushrooms. It's very cool what you can come across, but the uniqueness of the taste is going to help you feel more satisfied and satisfaction is the name of the game when it comes to weight loss so that you're not peckish and overeating, trying to get something and just not itching that scratch. Mushrooms will itch, will scratch the itch for you because they have that umami flavor. Number four is Corn. Corn is a vegetable, but a starchy vegetable. So we classify it as a starch within the food categories in the Slim on Starch program, but it's a fantastic source of starchy carbohydrates, those complex carbohydrates that are going to allow you to feel full. When you're building your plate, you gotta make sure that you have starch in there. And when I say starch, I'm not talking about refined white bread, I'm talking about things like corn and rice and oats and potatoes and sweet potatoes and squash and all of that. But corn is fantastic because it is a source of those complex, car complex carbohydrates that's gonna make you feel full. Additionally, it is cheap, it's available in bulk. You can get it canned, you can get it frozen, you can get it corn on the cob. It's very versatile. It also has a sweetness to it. And the sweetness, as I find, is a, is a big satisfaction factor for people. Something that I talk about with my clients is learning what your satisfaction factor is. And I know for me that it's sweet. I have to have something sweet in order to feel satisfied. And so corn is going to scratch that itch for you. If you find that you need something sweet, then corn is a sweet starch that's gonna make you feel satisfied with your meal and not feel peckish. I often get asked what my thoughts are on organic and I'm not a big organic snob whatsoever. I don't buy a lot of things that are organic, uh, but if you can get organic corn, I would because it is one of the most heavily sprayed crops. Do I buy organic corn? If I do, it's just because I buy a lot of things from Amazon Whole Foods and a lot of things on Amazon Whole Foods happen to be organic. So I, I'm not a huge organic snob, but corn is something that's pretty heavily sprayed. So if you have the opportunity to get organic, may as well. Number three is broccoli or really any dark green vegetable. Dark green vegetables contain thylakoids. Thylakoids are what shut off the hunger signal. So what's great about dark green veggies having the thylakoids is that you're not gonna get cravings later on in the day because you have shut off that craving before it even comes. When you have dark green vegetables earlier in the day, I'm talking before noontime even, if you can incorporate it either as a mid-morning snack or as a part of your breakfast, those thylakoids are gonna prevent you from getting cravings later in the day because they shut off the hunger signal. So any dark green vegetable is going to be essential to your weight loss. And I would recommend if you can to incorporate a dark green vegetable every single day and even in every single meal in order to feel satisfied and not be overwhelmed with cravings. Use those thylakoids to your advantage. 
Vegetable number two is one of the most slept on vegetables that is so important to weight loss and it is dark leafy greens. Dark leafy greens are going to allow you to create bulk in your meals. Now our stomachs can only hold so much food. So if we fill up our stomachs with foods that are low in calories, but high in volume, like dark leafy greens, then we're going to have tremendous success with our weight loss. We're not going to go hungry because we're eating an abundance of food. We're eating a lot of food and dark leafy greens are one of the ways to get there. So if you take take like a, a big rice bowl, for example, or a big bowl of corn and beans, black beans, pinto beans, lentils, and then you throw a huge thing of dark leafy greens into there, you've just doubled that meal in size and you've probably only added like 30 to 50 calories. So dark leafy greens are a fantastic way to bulk up your meal without having to eat too many calories uh, or to go over what your body would need for the sake of just feeling full. So if you struggle with feeling full, get in those dark leafy greens as a way to build up volume without getting in too many calories. And the number one vegetable that you need if you want to lose weight, this is a starchy vegetable, but it is potatoes slash sweet potatoes. I could do an entire video on this, why potatoes are the number one food for weight loss. And I'm gonna do that right now for you. Potatoes are the most satiating food on the planet. There was a study done, it was the Satiety Index of Common Foods, and it found that the boiled white potato was off the charts, the most satisfying food, satiating food on the planet. Potatoes are only 350 calories per pound. So you can have an entire pound of potatoes, which is high in fiber and high in water, and you've only racked up 350 calories. This is in comparison to something like nut butter, for example, a pound of nut butter is 2,400 to 2,800 calories. So you have, you know, three tablespoons of nut butter and you're already at 350 calories versus you have an entire pound of potatoes, you feel super full and that's the same amount of calories. It has the ability to make you want to push the plate away and really feel like I'm done here and I don't want to eat for a while. Whereas if you have three tablespoons of nut butter, you're probably looking for more nut butter or some crackers to put some more nut butter on or some bread to put some more nut butter on. That doesn't happen when you have potatoes because they're so satisfying, they're so satiating that you, you finish them and you finish them. You leave the table and you leave the table. It's hard to leave the table when you're peckish and when you're hungry, but if you incorporate potatoes every single day, you will find great success with your weight loss. And if you incorporate every single vegetable that I put on this list here today, then you are going to find tremendous success with your weight loss. If you want a free one day meal plan to get you started on this, then go to healthyemmy.org or just click the link in the down bar. It's down there and that will get you started. I love you, honeys. Thank you for being here today with me for this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Woo!